wow, three videos in one day. I'll probably be like, damn, man, during the week, don't this mind. Not, this is unlike him. I didn't lose my job. No, I, there's just actually some shit worth talking about. And today, for the final video of the day, I'm actually happy to talk about this. But, man, we got a patch for WWE 2K22, a big patch, seven gigs to be exact. And we're going to talk about exactly what was in that patch today uh, here on uh, what I like to call Top Grappler. Cue the intro. All right, so figured I'd try something new. What the fuck? Why not? You know what I'm saying? Got to do something to get this view time up. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, today we're going to talk WWE 2K22. Guys, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm telling you, man, this is just one hell of an update. I'm about to jump on the game, and generally I'm tired right now. Like, I'm tired. I still hadn't eaten dinner and shit, and I'm tired, but to fuck with that, I'm about to jump on the game and see what kind of shit is going on. And we're going to start right here at the top. A WWE 2K22 patch update 1.09. Man, today they've been, been on fire today. They've been trying to communicate with us. I guess they're getting tired of us talking shit. Man, patch 1.09 is our biggest update yet. Right? Features some of our most popular community requests, stability, and balance improvements. New My GM features. Uh oh. And much, much more. Thank you for whew, thank you for playing and keeping the feedback coming because I sure been dropping some feedback because I actually signed up for the 2K forums. I'm, my name is TopFan36 over there. That's because I created it back when I was 36. But yeah, TopFan36 over there. I'm definitely dropping my in my my feedback in there. And I suggest y'all do the same thing because if this is going to result in this, man, 2K may not be going anywhere if they can continue this role because this is different for them in, in my opinion 2k ain't never done they've never done anything like this with a wrestling game when it comes to releasing moves and arenas as you can see right there in that first one a full nxt 2.0 arena and supporting uh broadcast packages are in the game so we might actually get to hear uh uh wade barrett and whoever the smell the announce team is down there with the 2.0 colorful settings Hell, I might actually use it just to see how it look. But like I said, man, they ain't never did that before. Just drop a whole new arena in the game. Dude, if they going to do it like this, it's just, yeah, maybe we, it's, I can't wait to see exactly what else they have planned. If they can do up, update the game with pay-per-views and, and, and entrance songs and stuff like that, because I know all of y'all would kill to have Edge music. Right? If you believe in him. Oh, all right, let me stop. Look. On the other side, once you reach the... Let me stop. All right. Uh, just, uh, 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 gameplay. I forgot what I was talking about. Added game-wide option for graphics setting on PC. So, Paul, you PC guys going to get some good-looking gameplay, man. Y'all already got the mods and stuff to do the, the good shit. So, yeah. Gameplay fixes. Polished hundreds of superstar interactions to improve alignment, registration, and impact. Addressed reported concerns of players losing functionality when interacting with objects at ringside, such as not being able to pick up certain objects on the ground or not being able to actually throw your opponent into the steps or, or the table or into the corner or whatever. You know, we notice a little, okay, yeah. So uh, 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 added support for reversals. For several moves, what they would some moves you couldn't reverse. Maybe that wasn't a bug in the game after all. Whether you just couldn't reverse nothing, maybe the computer was just magically using all the moves that couldn't be reversed because they were broken. All right, so uh, added reports concern of players getting stuck backstage. Never had it happen. Uh, addressed the reported concerns of players getting stuck on a chamber in an elimination chamber match. I don't think I had that experience. That one updated move set for various superstars. You see what I'm saying? So there's new moves in the game. Usually they introduce new moves with a DLC package. But if they're updating the move sets of superstars on the fly, what says you can't update their music and their entrance packages? That's all I'm saying. Uh, uh, adjusted, uh, improved alignment. Wait a minute. <laughs> updated move set, improved referee pay. Oh, my God. Improved referee pathing and behaviors. 
I'm tired of him standing in my way. I'm tired of throwing somebody in the turnbuckle and he's standing there. He's in the way. He's in the way. This is the worst ref in 2K history, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 improved alignment on various dives and springboards. Adjust to stun durations during matches. I don't know why. I don't need to be stunned any longer. But you need to adjust how the 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 the, the damn AI sales moves, especially the power moves. They get right the fuck back up. But maybe that's what this is doing. That's why I say I'm going to be on a game after this. Adjust the damage on several moves that were failing to deal damage, which is probably why they're getting right back up because the moves that you're using aren't dealing damage. But they should be dealing damage now. Adjust uh, added various moves to signatures and finishing moves category. Again, add moves to the game. Increase the attack speeds for chair and stop sign weapons. Thank God, because it takes nine years to swing a chair in this game. AI uses more potential variation of uh, variety. Oh, my bad. AI uses more positional variety in a corner such as top rope stuns. Okay. That's trying to make the AI smart. That's what's up. Improve the logic for uh, AI to execute contextual finishers such as catching 1v2 or announce table finishers. So they wasn't doing none of that shit. And AI would like the AI never really hit me with a catch and finisher in, in, in any game. I'd be surprised if they do it with on this one. That'd be something. That, but I noticed that I can't do it when they coming off the top ropes. So is that something that y'all didn't realize that when somebody's in the air period and I got a finisher, I should be able to hit it? Is that not procking or what? I don't know. Y'all let me know. I hope that that's fixed. Uh, <clears throat> general tag team AI improvements including less frequent pin breaks and more frequent pin defense. Okay. Uh, AI will now utilize ladder bridge outside of ladder match of you know, ladder matches. Improve AI strategy for counter countering run attacks. Okay. Improve AI strategy for stunning opponents. Okay. Uh, improved AI logic during certain uh, run-in sequences. Ah, okay. Improved all AI pa pathing and attack selection when in a crowded ring. That I play a lot of multi-man matches, so I can tell you that the when they when you get the swinging in a in a multi-man match, like they don't try, they just walk straight to it, and that's how they end up getting you know thrown off. But maybe this will fix that, man. I don't know. My GM. Tag team titles are now supported for normal and hard difficulty, bruh. They put tag team titles in GM or why they wouldn't have first place. What the Intercontinental Championship said now? Y'all can't, you see what I mean? That's what I'm saying. I know everybody was saying, man, they don't even got tag team titles. Do they got Intercontinental Championships in GM mode? So far, as far as I knew, it was just the WWE and the Universal Championship. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, if they if they added the tag team titles, I'm sure the next patch they can just throw the Intercontinental and the United States Championship over there because those are titles as well, and they need that'll make for a better GM mode experience. I'm just saying. The match card size had, uh, for normal and hard difficulty has been and it's been expanded. Improved AI general performance improvements. Okay, uh, online mode, which I tried once, I didn't like it because it was a bit wonky and whatnot. Uh, Maybe they say there's something about them fixing it. Improve uh, uh, interests can now be enabled on online modes. I don't know why. Why is that a thing? Why did, does that should just be a givey? Come on. Improve performance when joining and leaving lobbies. The CD uh, improve performance when downloading items in community creations. Add a DLC hashtag search option in community creations. That'll help. Uh, various improvements is uh, online gameplay experience. Maybe I have to try it out again because see what it's like. But last time I tried, that shit was laggy, bro. I just felt like I know I'm sitting here doing moves, but then again, this game is like a cheese fest online. I told you I was gonna be like that when it first started. And the way it is kind of like a striking fighting game and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Like that's cool. But I mean, I, I like to tell stories. I like to be like a storytelling type of guy when I'm doing videos and whatnot. That's why I've been setting up my universe mode and whatnot. And waiting on this patch because I'm sure that this patch is going to be the patch that allows me, even though I don't see anything here that says anything about universe mode. Uh, maybe let me keep going and whatnot. Uh, let's see, improved skin and eyes for various superstars. Okay, updated character likenesses to for various superstars. So we should see some better looking superstars on there. Uh, they didn't say anything about uh, okay, wait a minute, improve cause part combinations okay 
general hair updates and improvements. Hair didn't look like it was too all that bad. I know I watched my boy Ray stream. He got the dreads. Them hoes be flowing. So, they be all over the place. It looks smooth to me, but shit, hair, they going to look even better now, Rage. All right, uh, let's see. Improved performance and stability with all creative modes. Good, thank God, because I that's most of the time I had my crashes when I was doing the creative modes, creating the belts and shit. I would always crash the game. So I stopped you. I stopped doing the creating belts after I did my shit. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, it happened afterward. Once I was, I thank God I was finished. But uh, data cleanup through all, throughout all creative modes. Okay. Get rid of that shit we don't need. Because I delete characters, but they shit still be here. It's just, like, if, it, if the dude ain't there, you can delete a shit. But I'm not, it's not like I'm going to go back and use his tattoo. Like, especially if it's one of the ones that's skin colored. You know what I'm saying? It's like, it's got like flesh behind it, but you can just tack it on and match the skin color. You, no. <clears throat> uh, improved compatibility between many custom arena stage parts. Uh, okay. Uh, improved angles. Uh, improved graphic fidelity of custom championships. Thank God. I hope I'm, I could definitely got to go look at my championship now. Updated template, uh, data for arena template, bruh. I hope so because I couldn't access that one arena that looks like a TV studio. I wanted that one. I didn't want an actual full on arena in my shit. You know, uh, adding uh, information for uh, elements to create a move set tone. Okay, face facing ringside category, top rope taunts. Uh, added facing ringside top rope. Huh, what improved compatibility between hundreds of different cars parts and uh, improved functionality of eye of hair dye tool? I hope so because it was it was it was janky and it was super fucking slow. You should, I thought, yeah, they used to have it where you can hold X and you can, it'll, if you hold X, it'll move a little faster, and if you let it go, it'll move it slow but at a reasonable speed. That shit was super slow on here. Uh, improve. Uh, ability for players to apply images to oh my god i hope that shit is faster improve randomization custom consistency on superstars with fixed mass right uh added multiple correct crowd signs for various superstars improve consistency of unlocking purchase i don't know what the fuck uh improve consistency of thumbnails throughout creative superstar address reported concerns with swapping partners in tag team match what there was no concern. If when I would, that's how I play. Enjoy, that's how I've come to enjoy my tag team matches by being able to hit the touchpad. And if y'all didn't know this, here goes some info for you. If you're in a tag team match and you're tired of sitting there watching your teammate get his ass kicked, hit the touchpad. You can take control of them, and then you can make. And then hell, that's how I do. I you I let him whoop or fight while I go around and whoop the other guy's ass real quick. And then I'll go back and take over, go back in the ring, whoop his ass, and then get tagged back in and let Bear Laurent finish him off. I hope y'all didn't ruin that. I hope y'all didn't ruin that. Oh, man. All right. Audio improves uh, its sound effects and music performance on entrances, including reported concerns related to fiendish. Of course. They're like, People, okay, and create an entrance. Improve the sound design on some moves. Okay, the way that they impact. Uh, updated out, updated outdated references and commentary. Thank God, I'm trying to hear that old shit that don't make no sense. And it's like, bro, that shit don't even belong there. Like they say something stupid, like about a about somebody who well he wants who's not even in the WWE anymore. You know what I'm saying? It's like what. Uh, added update commentary, updated commentary references to reflect recent real world changes. Wow. Improved commentary for non high risk moves. Okay. Improved consistency of commentary calling superstar moves properly. Okay. Uh, added more sound to championship belt intro wipes. Oh. Added more RA calls to various championships and cleaned up the music list for created modes. Okay. Universe mode. I know I had to just come down a little bit. Let's check it out, man. Improved stability through universe mode. So hopefully I ain't got to worry about crashing when I'm having too much fun. Because I'd just be getting into the thick of the game and having some fun. And then all of a sudden, it just ruins it and it just kills it. You know what I'm saying? So uh, hopefully. Well, dang. <laughs> hopefully. Uh, that fix, that, that cleans that up. Universe data cleanup and updates. 
Improve superstar naming consistency. Cool. Improve UI flow and visuals. Uh, improve updated custom portrait formatting. Normalize store credit earning within with gameplay. So we wouldn't get no fucking store credits with playing fucking universe mode. Okay. Uh, improve money in the bank cash and save data performance. Okay. Uh, added the ability to disable run-ins after editing a match. I have to remember because I, I mean I do pay per view to pay per view matches and shit, and I generally try not to push the game outside its boundaries and stuff by doing shit. But I might have to give it a shot, you know. So uh, yeah, added the ability to just okay, boom, added a custom championship names to division screens, okay? Because they never show it; you just see the damn title. You didn't see the name. I did see that. Uh, improved superstar portrait uh, compatibility on eight player matches, I guess. Improve consistency of superstar run-ins and storylines. I don't think we need to be drowned out with that shit. I don't think we want to keep that motherfucker running in every week for no reason. Like, the, y'all don't even let us use a bunch of stuff that y'all got in the game, like cutscenes and stuff. So, probably not a good idea to be trying to, you know, let us. Yeah, okay. Uh, adjusted custom arena match rules to more closely match, uh, closely match those in game. Superstars are now correctly assigned in their respective brands. What about the fact? That if I'm in a he in a rivalry and the person I'm in a rivalry with is not the person that I'm actually in the rivalry with, I don't see anybody saying that they is that I don't see anything that said that it fixed that, and maybe that has something to do with the stability or whatnot. It won't be rubber banding other characters from that I mean other wrestlers in the rivalries that they ain't even supposed to be in. I don't know. My faction mode and finally my faction mode. We gonna blow, b- breeze through this. Improve rewards. Uh, what's that? Rewards icons visibilities and I, I really don't play my faction so i really don't care honestly you know what i'm saying but you know you, you can see it right there so yeah guys that's gonna be it i know i got you again today's been a day of long videos it's been a lot to talk about man and i don't know if i'm gonna have to have the time because i'm expecting a busy week uh to actually talk about these things so why not talk about them now and if you stuck around this long i appreciate you for sticking around y'all already know it's much appreciated you know what i'm saying straight up but yeah, this right here, I'm about to go try this out at least before I lay my ass down. So, uh, yeah, guys, let me know what you think down below. Are you trying it out? Have you seen any of these fixes take and change the game? I'm more interested to take a look, take a look at this move list and see it and, and, and the universe mode and see what's going down. Because that move list, updating the move list and all that, that's why I like to live. I like trying a lot of different moves and shit. And I like the fact that this game don't uh don't 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 let, you know, it ain't like the other ones where you can't have certain moves. You can still like that in some way, but it's lo- it's looser than in the other ones were. So, yeah, guys, I'm going to go ahead and roll out. Y'all take it easy. Have a good one. Let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to like the video on your way out. Subscribe if you're new. And, uh, yeah, I got that beanie, boy. I got that beanie, boy. I'm like... <laughs>